A blessed day to all of you, my dear brothers and sisters who are present here in the Shrine of Jesus, the Divine Word, and also those who are joining us online through our live stream. Once there was a commercial sa TV advertisement, sabi, Gusto ko, happy ka. Gusto ko, happy ka. This morning, pagising natin, magandang pagnilayan ngayong umaga. Are you happy? Are you joyful in your life? Are you happy of what is happening in our society, in our country today? Are you a happy Christian? And what, what makes you joyful and happy? Hindi ko alam kung happy ang mga seminarista ngayon kasi exam week nila. Pagdasal natin sila. In the last part of the gospel, Jesus says, I have told you this so that my joy may be in you and your joy may be complete. That the joy of Jesus be in us and that joy is complete. Jesus wants us to experience a joyful life, a happy life that is not just momentarily, panandali ang lamang, but a life full of happiness, a joy that is complete. But the question is, how can we find joy that Christ offers us, that Christ, the reason Christ wishes for us? And the answer is the first part of the gospel. Abide in Jesus' love, to remain in God's love. That is the answer. As the Father loves me, so also I love you. Remain in my love. Again, the question is, how do we remain in Jesus' love and experience complete joy? How to abide in God's love and experience happiness in life as a Christian? Allow me to share three things as our reflection this morning. First, to abide in Jesus' love is to experience God's love in our life. One of the reasons why people are joyful and happy is that they experience to love and to be loved. Ang taong in love ay punong-puno ng kasiyahan sa kanyang buhay. Ang taong maraming nagmamahal sa kanya ay punong-puno din ng kasiyahan sa kanyang buhay. And I believe love and happiness goes together. And this is the message of the recent Lord today. If you want to be joyful in your life, then remain in God's love. Experience the love of God in your life. As John 4 verse 7 would say, Whoever is without love, does not know God, for God is love. And God's love, we all know, is unconditional. God's love has no if or buts, no condition. Despite of who you are, who we are, whatever we have done in our life, how many times we fall, God's love remains the same. God's love us unconditionally. Nang Diyos ay pag-ibig, at ang pag-ibig ng Diyos ay hindi kailanman magbabago. When we feel the love of God in our life, then we find security, serenity, and peace. Despite the many challenges we encounter in life, remember the consoling words of Jesus, I will be with you. Fear not, I will be with you until the end of time. If you experience the love of God in your life, we feel the presence of the risen Lord. And when we feel the presence of the risen Lord in our life, our life is full of happiness. Our joy is complete. Second, to abide in Jesus' love is to follow His commandments. If God loves us, we also love God. Then we learn to be obedient to Him by following His commandments. Love is not love if it's purely in words and feelings. Kung puro lang salita at emotion, that is not true love. 
love should be done in action. And so if we love God, we learn to put it into action. And putting it into action is by following His commandments. And we know that when we follow His commandments, it would lead our life into a right direction. If we want, if we do not want to fall into mistakes sa ating buhay, not to commit errors sa ating buhay, if you don't want to experience sadness, anxiety, and confusion in your life, then follow the commandment of God as our guide in life, as our life coach in life, as our advisor in life, at hindi tayo magkakamali sa buhay natin. And that would surely make our life joyful. If you don't want to commit mistakes, sadness, and fear in life, just follow the commandments of God in your life. It would lead you into the right direction. And finally, to abide in Jesus. To abide in Jesus' love is to be instrument also of God's love to others. A Christian love knows how to sacrifice for the sake of others, for the sake of our neighbors. Not selfish, not self-centered, but a selfless love, selfless love that has a concern for others. Our elders before ati mga ninuno, mga lola, lolo, even ang ati mga magulang, nung panahon nila sinasabi, kahit sa pinakamalayong bahay, kapitbahay nila, sa kanilang community, kilala nila. They even share food to one another. That's how they love and have concern with their neighbors. All their neighbors, almost all their neighbors, kilala nila. But today, even the next room in our condominium unit, the next house in our neighborhood, or even the next person in our table in our offices, we do not know. We do not care. Because the principle of our world today, my life is okay, I'm okay, I'm doing my religious obligation, then it's okay. Self-centered, selfish, not selfless love. When we sacrifice for the sake of others, out of love, when we know how to do good, especially in this time of pandemic, there's the feeling of joy in our hearts, happiness as Christians. Iba yung pakiramdam ng tumutulong ka sa kapwa at may ginawa kang kabutihan sa iyong kapwa. Napakaganda ng pakiramdam bilang isang Kristiyano. As Jesus said, no greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friend. And so as disciples of Jesus, we are invited to make sacrifices for ourselves, for others, for God, without counting the cost na walang hinihing kapalit. Mother Teresa, or Saint Teresa, once said, Not all of us can do great things, but we can do small things with great love. And that's a joyful thing in our life as Christian. Not all of us can do great things. Wala namang hinihinging ang Diyos na malaking bagay na pwede mong gawin sa iyong kapwa. Even small things out of love for others that makes our life Christian fulfilling. And so if we love God and God loves us, then we share this love to others. We become the hands of God, instrument of God's love to others. And that is a good feeling to be joyful as Christians, even in times of difficulties and trials. My dear friends, all of us, we want to experience a joyful life, a happy life. Gusto ng Diyos, happy ka. Always remember that. Gusto ng Diyos, happy ka. And that completeness and happiness of life as Christians, can only be achieved if we know how to abide in Jesus and remain in Jesus' love. Amen.